The APEX system features four display units capable of presenting the pilot with all the information pertinent to flight. The display system contains multiple levels of redundancy, preserving many advanced features even in the event of a display failure. The data on the displays is fed from two independent Advanced Graphic Modules, or AGMs. By default, AGM-1 provides data for the pilot's PFD and the upper MFD, while AGM-2 provides data for the co-pilot's PFD and the lower MFD. A display reversion control panel, located below the MFC, controls the four displays. The control panel has four knobs, each corresponding to a display unit. During normal operation, the knobs are used to adjust the brightness of the corresponding display. To turn off a display, turn the knob counterclockwise until it clicks. The PFD knobs have an additional concentric or outer knob that permits the pilot to change the AGM source, which is used in the event of an AGM failure. The Apex displays show information sent from the graphics modules, just like your computer monitor. This makes it easy to recognize the failure mode. A fully functional display is capable of detecting an AGM failure and displaying a red X. A malfunctioning display is receiving information from the AGM but is not able to display the information correctly or at all. If a display malfunctions or is damaged, the pilot must indicate to the avionics system that the display has failed. This is done by turning off the affected display. When a display is turned off, the aircraft will automatically reconfigure to the next most logical display format. In this scenario, the pilot's PFD has failed and the APEX system has reconfigured the screen so that the upper MFD is replaced by the PFD. If this happened in flight, the autopilot would remain engaged and the aircraft would continue to fly normally. The displays can be further configured as desired by the pilot. The lower MFD can be reconfigured to show either the situational MFD or the system's MFD by pushing the swap button. Charts are also still available. If another display is lost, the content will again be reconfigured to the next most logical display format. In this case, some data will be compressed as necessary. If both middle displays fail and are turned off, a composite display is shown on PFD1. The composite mode includes a cast message window. In addition, a compressed system summary window will be displayed. The system's data, displayed on the 1 6th window, can be changed using the page button. For specific failure scenarios and the resulting display reversion format, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide. When the aircraft is on the ground and ground power is not available prior to engine start, the aircraft can be configured on standby power. When the aircraft is on standby power, the displays are configured in pre-departure clearance mode. In this mode, only the lower MFD is powered and can be used to perform pre-flight tasks such as checking ATIS or entering a flight plan. If the option for dual charts is installed, the charts display can be accessed by pushing the swap button on the MFC. An AGM failure is very different from the failure of a display unit and should be properly recognized by the pilot. If an AGM fails, the associated display unit will still be working normally. However, no data will be displayed. As a result, a red X will be shown on the display units that are being fed by the failed AGM. The red X indicates that the display unit is functioning. Since two DUs failing at the same time is very unlikely, the presence of two displays with red Xs may be an indication of an AGM failure. In this example, the red X's on the pilot's PFD and upper MFD are an indication that AGM-1 has failed. The appropriate abnormal checklist will direct the pilot to turn the PFD reversion knob from normal, which is AGM-1, 
to AGM-2. Doing so will provide the pilot's PFD with information from AGM-2. An AGM is only capable of generating data for two different screens at one time. In this case, the additional PFD image is a duplicate image. Because of this, the associated MFD will still display a red X and must be turned off. The MFD swap button can still be used to alternate between the situational MFD and the systems MFD. The examples in this video are for familiarization only. The appropriate quick reference handbook checklist must be followed during an emergency or abnormality. For more information, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.